There is the this free version of Grok 4, which we can test if this can produce better quality application. If this is, then we now have a go-to model where we can create any type of application and won't spend a single dime. So it's here in Open Router, as long as you have some credits in Open Router. So you can use this free model right here. The best vibe coding tool you can pair with this model is Kilo Code. I'm going to show you how you can set this up really quick and we're going to do a sample WordPress theme to see whether this is worth of our time using it. So we're going to set up a brand new WordPress here in our local using local WP. If you don't have local WP, so just download it from Google right here, search local WP and install this. It's straightforward, very simple instruction. And I would like to give you some idea on which affiliate program you can join. So here you can join to this EcoWorthy, which sells solar panels. And as you are aware, solar panels are high ticket niche. So you can see right here, there are some packages that almost cost 9,000 bucks. And joining in this affiliate program will earn you from 5% commission. A lot of people are looking for to upgrade their home to solar panel. So this not hard to sell. So in this example, we will be doing some summer panel niche right here. This will be our sample WordPress theme using this free version of Grok4. And let's see how good it is to create a WordPress theme. So coming back here in local WP, let's create our new team, our new WordPress local site. So here I'm just going to name this as solar panel continue. So once it's completed, make sure to toggle this. So when you click WP admin, it won't require you to enter the credentials. And as you can see, our local WordPress is working. We can proceed by goading the awesome team. So you can head over to this link. I'm going to put in the description below. So just copy this entire custom prompt. This will create a custom theme just by prompting this to our the code in VS code, which I'm going to show you. So just grab a copy of this. Open a blank notepad and paste that right there. So we just need to populate this configuration. The folder name will just be like that. Just have a unique name for the folder name site title. Keep it like that. So that team name. All right. It's ready to go. Now we're going to copy the model and set that up to our VS code. So from here in local WP, click this VS code. This will open up your WordPress files and make sure you have this extension called Kilo code. This is a better coder so far compared to client. So click this and here, click this configuration icon like open router and make sure you choose the Grok free. Copy this model right here by clicking this icon. Come back here, paste that. And there you go. That's our Grok free version. Click on save and done. Uh, that's it. We're ready to vibe got our custom team. So this custom prompt that we set up, just get a copy, go back to VS code and paste that and Let's execute this and wait for a few minutes. As you can see, it started to list the task it's going to do. Guys, it get it our task and it's quite fast actually compared to the paid models. But let's go ahead and see if all the files are there. So they're all present. We're going to have to create our hero section image, which we're going to do later. We just want to see how good the custom theme is. So coming back to our dashboard, go to appearance and then themes. And this is going to be the theme. Let's activate it. All right, looks to be working. Let's visit the site. There you go. Uh, it looks decent for a free model. Well, pretty good. He frequently asked question. The coordinate is not working. That's an easy fix. We can just vibe code that. And look at that. This has a decent footer. So once we have the hero section image here, it will look decent. Well, with, which we're going to do now. So using AI Studio, we just generated this image. Let's download this. Now we're going to drag the image here. Make sure it's in assets folder. And we have to rename this as hero-section.png. That's the name we defined in our custom prompt. Let's refresh the team. There you go. Looks okay. Uh, we can improve it. Guys, this is a free model. So you can improve the AP runs by prompting it more. And you can see it's got 2 million contexts, which is really generous. So you can ask Goo for whatever modification you need. I can quickly ask to fix the origin. So I'll say fix the origin. It's not sliding down. All right, and then run this. I'm also going to show you how you can simply deploy this to a server. Suppose you have the neutral domain. So let's do that. We're going to have a simple server using taste WP. So once your site is ready, access this. So from here, go to appearance, then teams. And here we're going to add a team. So we're going to upload our team to do that. We have to compress the file. So right click this revealing finder if you're using Mac. So from here, right click and compress it. So this if right here, we're going to drag that to our server right here. So just simply drag this and click install. All right, let's activate the team. 
There you go, it's ready to use. Let's visit the site. And we got the same theme right here in the server. That's how easy it is. And let's see, fixes the section. There you go. <laughs> the fix is there. It's now working. Look at that. Now what we need to do is add articles to see the post section, how it appears. To easily add article, I'm going to generate some articles using the this website called Article AI Generator. Auto post that you just need to install this plugin, just download this plugin and add that to your WordPress. So this is just a one-time setup. So we're going to do that. Add plugin right here. Make sure you are doing it in the server. Don't get confused in your server and in your local WordPress. Now we're going to upload the plugin that we downloaded, browse that. So that is the basic Auto Master. Install it and activate that. So no further configuration is required. You just need to do credential of your new WordPress site here, which you can grab from here if you set up using just WP. So I'm just going to add the URL username and the password in this form. All right, once you added the site, just get some few articles too. So if you are actually generating articles, you can do 50 articles per batch. Make sure you research proper topic using some keyword tools. So if your niche is around solar panels or search any topic related to solar panel, make sure they're long tail keyword and meaningful topic. So just to give you some examples, so we're going to grab Napix from people also ask here in Google, paste it right here. Let's try these three articles. We're going to generate a featured image. So we will see how it will look like in the post section. And don't forget to auto post since we install all the configuration and we're going to set that to publish. If it's a new site, select your WordPress site here. You can have multiple WordPress site. Just keep adding them. It will auto populate the username and password. Double check if it's auto post. Yes. So the articles will be sent directly to your WordPress. Now let's generate this and wait for a few minutes. And as you can see, this tree articles, they're auto posted successfully. Now, when you go to the post section, you will see these three articles. Let's check one of the articles right here. You will see the featured image right there. And we have this deal friendly article. We have the related posts appearing below the article section. Let's check this other article. You can see we have the pretty good featured image right there in our SEO friendly article. Going back to the homepage and here in the latest post, this is how it's going to display the all the latest articles that you posted. And I think that's about it. So we covered lots of topic today. I gave you some idea on which affiliate network you're going to join. And also I showed you the quick process on how you can deploy that to your server. Suppose this is your actual domain and also gave you the prompt to code your free WordPress theme. Uh, that's about it, guys. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. See you on the next one.